got a good thing going here. Don't mess it up. All right? We got it all going good. Hey there. Light stripping ain't easy. This is my Lego room office. All right. Get on it. You got a lot to do here. You can't just mess around or monk around. There's only one way to do this. Dang. Do it well. What do you got here? What do you got today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. What do we have here? We have a whole lot of strip lights. More than I know what to do with. But I had to. The price was right. We're talking like a dollar a foot. You cannot beat that. And it works with my phone. It's everything I need. And you know what? That's what I'm working on today. I'm gonna to be installing some strip lights and hopefully it goes well. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not copying anybody, although everyone's doing it. Uh, it Cause it looks great. I mean, definitely there is a psychology to color. And you know what? When you're set in the mood, I'm gonna go with that purple right there. That's right. You know what? I'm just on my default red, white, and blue behind me. I love my walls here. This whole wall could be anything I want, uh, but really it's just, it is what it is and it makes me happy. I think I'll change it up at some point, but uh, this is just great. Anyway, I have all this stuff here. And of course, link in the description if you guys need lights. My Lord, these things are so cheap right now. 32 feet, 32. Do the math, it's awesome. Anyway, get back to me on that. Let me know if it worked for you, okay? I got a lot to do today. I ain't got time to stare at my camera or do any talking. Just kidding, I like this stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and install these lights. I just always thought I would save it for another time, but I'm going semi-permanent right now. We're definitely gonna use the adhesive and we are going to stick these down and they're gonna look great. So excited, join me. There's only one way to get this done, it's together, okay? Let's do it for your health, for your future. Let's do this, join me right now. Now is the time, do it now, join me. Yes, indeed. It's getting crowded on this table, but it looks so good. I really like what I see. Let's take it down though. We're working down in this region down here. These brick bins will go away. I will replace those bins with the three drawer cabinets, which you see here. And the intention, the idea is to back light these three drawer units so that it creates that nice effect behind me. And uh, we'll just see, I, I really just want bricks behind me. I wanna be able to turn around and access a whole array of randomized bricks in the color I'm looking for. I'm okay with separating by color at times. Soon I'll have a catalog of parts and I'll be able to go directly right to the part I need, but I really do like the, the search. It's all about the hunt. We will probably take all of these bins and turn them into bins I'll use in the store for bulk brick purchases. So that's what these bins will translate to. And then I will go ahead and put all those colorful bricks inside these drawers. I can easily access behind me and take out and we'll go for the backlight effect. I got six of these boxes, six times 32. We got 180 plus feet of LED light strip. And I am so excited about this. This is an investment into the office. We want it to look good in here. I mean, obviously. Uh, I love the brick wall. Yeah, I'm gonna be moving into here more. I'm gonna be moving my personal bricks probably over on this side. And then I'm gonna start the store from that way. I think that's what I wanna do. Uh, I might just section it out so I have like an A, B, and a C, um, but I definitely need a place for personal brick and this may be the place for it. So uh, over time, my personal brick may get uh, more sophisticated, we'll just see, and that will then translate and go on this wall. So I will move my personal stuff on this wall with a huge table to build here. And again, on the back side will always be a brick store. I, I love the hobby. I think it's just so fantastic. I love what I do with it. Every time I get an order, I'm so excited. So you know what? I'm going to keep it going. So it'll grow from one side to the other. We'll just see how it goes. And uh, obviously I'll make use of one side in 
until that happens. So very good. But today we have other things going on. All right, get on it. You got a lot to do here. So I hope this thing works out. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just moving along one step at a time. Every day I come in here, I'm happy to be here in the Lego room office. And it's just like, what do I want to do today? Well, definitely I need to get lighting up. I need to have a better backdrop. You know, everyone's just throwing boxes behind them, and I get that. So my boxes look good behind me. It's great when I'm live streaming, but soon I'll have to finish out the walls and all my sets will be behind me up on the walls. So I'm hoping that will be the look and that this table can actually be more of a feature table for maybe a few really nice sets and also a place where I can sort brick almost on a daily basis and just kind of keep the process going up here. So we'll see, we'll see how it, how it evolves, but right now it's getting awfully crowded. A lot of stuff has been moving down into this place, even though I'm still not done. But luckily I have a solution for my walls, which will be very clean and uh, will yield very little mess. And that's the biggest thing. So we're just gonna slap these walls up when the time is right. And actually I'm probably right around the time where I'm about to buy my materials. So that's gonna populate over by the big door and then I'll get that insulation in, shouldn't take too long. I'm saying maybe one day of insulation work. Uh, hopefully I'll get a buddy up here to help. Uh, we've done it in the past, we'll see if it happens again. Anyway, that would be awesome. So we'll just see how it rolls, we're doing good. This is looking good. Let's see how this comes out right now. Let's put in a little extra effort and see it through. All right, let's get these things installed. First things first, we have to stare at everything for a long time, at least an hour. We're gonna stare at everything. We're just gonna stare at the Lego sets. We're gonna look inside these cabinets here. We're gonna observe and plan our attack. But we'll definitely be staring at this for a long time like normal. Just walk around here and stare at things, I think. Thinking. All right, you got this. You can do it, install. Don't delay. This is your opportunity today. What are you gonna do tomorrow? You're busy. It's not on the plans for tomorrow. It's now, it's today. Get it done, move forward. Next step, do it, do it. Some have said that light stripping ain't easy and I, I agree with that statement. And this is hard work and it definitely was trying to be in these positions up and down, up and down all around and not to destroy the light strip itself. Now the reward though. Uh-oh, something cool is happening. Yes, as you can see, yes. this looks great. And now continue on, keep going. You have to do the inside of the cabinets, no delay. You have to stay focused because you know that you have goals to meet and these are part of them. You have to have a good backdrop. You gotta look like you're not working out of a warehouse at least for the first little while. You know, never did I ever realize that I would come across so many little hurdles, but I'm just getting over them all. What's up, looking pretty sweet, I'd say. Looking good, keep going, don't stop. You got a lot to do today, all right? Keep going, these LED light strips are so fun to put up. Keep going, but once they're done, it's over. This seriously is a challenging day. I can't tell you, I don't know what it is about the light strips. They look amazing. They're just really a pain to install. But again, once you get them in, if you get them in right, then you're gonna be happy with the results. And these I can control with my phone. I have three different zones and maybe more to come. I'm not sure, but this is looking great. I'm so happy. All right, well, I think this is looking real good. I like what I see. It's been a long day. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm not sure what direction to go in. I have this bay here, sort of in a blue and a teal or aqua behind me. They have their own controller. So I, I have a whole nother 16 feet I can go off of there. Very happy with the progress today. As you can see, everything looks really cool. I can make some pretty crazy light effects over here. So this rolling cart just got a big upgrade and I like it. So mostly I think I'm gonna be putting bricks here, but um, it obviously can serve many purposes. I like what I've done here and uh, I think it's gonna be good. Awesome. This is looking pretty good as a backdrop. I'm liking what I see. So a lot of effort was put into this. I'm liking the light effects, the boxes, everything's looking cool right now. It's just, 
It's gonna just keep evolving though. No direction, just do it. All right, so now I need probably some up lighting and some spotlighting and who knows what else. Who knows what the next day brings around here. Nobody knows. In fact, it's always a big mystery right there. It's always a mystery. The next video that drops, nobody knows what it will be, but maybe you will. Let's do this. Good job. Like what I see. Good. Join me. All right, let's take another look down here. And I was able to go up onto the roof to get more lighting, more down lighting, also more lighting in the front. This will allow the sets to be illuminated a little more. There's a big difference when the minifigures are up top here. I like it. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna put my drawers behind here. Looks good. I'm gonna put my bricks in soon and then maybe leave a couple open for display. So this is looking great. Liking how this turned out. Let's get another couple angles in the dark. So eventually this cabinet will have so much function it will be able to move around and become part of the foreground on some of my shooting. The functionality comes in in the rear here where I can put totes and bins and extra storage and things that I'm working on right then, especially when it comes to sorting and personal collections that I like to keep separate. And so it really did come out good. I have the red light going all the way around and the light from the front goes through to the back. Currently just going with a blue and green configuration with all the other lighting here in the studio. It's looking so cool. I'm so excited. Listen, absolutely am inspired by you guys. And you know what? If you can catch me on the live streams and get in on the chat, it would be so fun. Join the Discord server. We're having a great time over there. And I just want to appreciate all of you guys right now. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's more to come. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.